I've got to do a bit of harvesting today, especially these Savoy cabbage. Um, I haven't got my tripod, otherwise I would have done a weighing, but what I'll do is I'll cut some. In fact, I need to take most of them out, to be honest, the split in. And uh, I'll take them home and do a weighing there when I've got the tripod set up. I probably need to give that chards ready for another harvest. And this is the second planting of Pongo beans. Plenty on, but I'm not going to take, I might take a few of the biggest, Oh, I'm tempted to just leave them for another week before I get in there, but you can see there's loads of flowers on. Happy days. Right, so as you can see, I didn't catch, they're just starting to split. I mean, they're still perfectly edible. That one's gone on a bit more, but these are massive. January King 3, I think it is. Um, and then I've got these three here. which is, uh, I've got the roots left on and they're in, I'll show you, water just for the time being. Then I'm going to put strings on round the stem and hang them upside down in the shed and hopefully uh, that will just prolong the shelf life a bit. These two will have to get sorted out today. Now just moving to the right here, this is the last one out of the bed. There was eight plants all told, I've already cut two. There's five big ones there, and then this last one, if you look at the difference in size, you might think, well, what's going on there? Well, let's go and find out. So here we've got a couple of roots. See where I've cut the head out. And if you look, there's a normal healthy root system. Lots of fibrous root mass there. That's how they should look. Let's go and have a look at the one where the small head came off. Okay, so this is the stump where the, um, the, the, little, the little head cabbage heart came out. And if you can see around here, it's all disformed. If I just try and pull it, you can see that it's, it's just pulling away. It's all rotten. There's a bit of a, quite a nasty smell to it. And lots of these club shaped roots so basically yeah what we've got is club root so what I need to do is try and dig all that out carefully I mean I've had this in the soil ever since I got the plot so it's not a new thing it's just something that you've got to live with and even though I pluck lots of lime in the planting hole uh, sometimes you know they do get it so I'll dig that out and that's going to go straight into the incinerator there we go that's the cabbage so we've got three there, hung up in the shed, so as I say, hopefully they will keep for a few more weeks. So I'm going to go and get some lunch now, and we'll have, I'll get the tripod set up, and then we can do a weigh-in. So we've got the Savoys, we've got some uh, beetroot, this is uh, Baltardi, we've got this big carry bag full of chard, these are a mixture of cherry toms, and we've got the zucchini. So pretty good. Right, I'll catch you later. Okay guys, here's the first big one. Uh, hope this bag holds. Am I right? That says 8.18. Eight pound one eight ounces. It feels like it as well. Right, let's see what the other one weighs. Here we are, guys. Six point six nine. Six pound six point six nine ounce or whatever that is. Six and a half pound cabbage nearly, is it? Right. There we go. Some pretty big cabbages. Somebody's going to be getting fed up with cabbage shortly. Right, I'm off back down to the plot to uh, start picking the plums. Catch you later. 
Well, it's August the 25th and another glorious day. We've got about another 10 days, hopefully, of this settled fine weather, which is amazing for us. Anyway, today I'm back down the plot with the intention of planting out some more savoy cabbage, but as you can see, we've got some apples starting to fall. And I think uh, this Laxton fortune that just came away with no resistance at all, so lovely apple. I think they're ready to harvest, so the first thing I'm going to do is just harvest them, so I'll bring you back. So for anybody who's not familiar with picking fruit, if you've not grown apples before or anything like that, when you come to harvest you just want to be given a slight, slight twist and pull. I'll show you another one. So this spur's got two on, so what I would do is support the lower one. here, just support that, twist, there's the top one off and then twist and pull, like that, so that way you're not dropping them and damaging them. There we go, so if they're ready, I've got a tree of the same variety on the micro orchard there, they'll be ready too, so I'll need to pick those today. But if you thin them, these I thin them two to a spur, you can see you get quite a large apple. The only downside to this variety, Laxton's Fortune, is that it's got quite a short uh, shelf life, about two months, and then it just starts going soft. But I'd still recommend it, as you can see, clean as a whistle, no scab, beautiful. So under the frame there, those are my next lot of Savoy cabbage waiting to go in, I'll show you where I'm going to put them. So this is where the main crop onions were, so all I need to do is just clean, there's not much weed in it, so just clean it up and then um, I'm going to move that, those hoops and move them over here so I can cover them with netting, otherwise you know they'll just get massacred by the pigeons and the cabbage whites, but that's where they're going to go. So I've got the bed prepared, I've just raked a couple of handfuls of uh, Grow more, that's MPK777, just lightly into the surface. I've got the frame cover set up there. As I said, there's my plants, I've pre soaked them. And into each hole will be lime. And then once they're planted, I'm just going to put a little bit of 6x uh, around each plant before they get a good water in it. And then we'll put the uh, Enviro mesh over. There's a lot of cabbage whites flying around today. There we go, all tucked in, cosy, good watering in. Anyway, so hopefully they'll get away to a good start and make uh, sufficient growth before uh, hard winter sets in and then they'll be, we can enjoy them around sort of February, March time next year. In this vacated bed, so this is where the Savoy cabbage were dug out uh, yesterday, I've got some Lolo Rosso lettuce I'm going to put in to, just for a quick catch crop. Uh, my overwintering lettuce have, well, two lot, two out of three lots have come through. Uh, so the Lolo Rosso, just down there. I'm just to say, just a, a quick catch crop if I can, before the overwintering lettuce. I don't like planting lettuce out in hot sunny days, but needs must. So we'll get on with it. So that's about a three quarters of a bed. That's more than enough. Give them a watering in with a fine rose here. Like I said, I don't like planting lettuce out in very hot, well, I'll say very hot, but it's hot for the UK just now. About uh, 20 21 degrees here, anyway, in the north. And um, it just makes it quite difficult. Anyway. See what happens. 